To build on the last example, we want to add one more action to our main timeline to control the movie clip so that it will be stopped when the movie is launched. Here's the starting and ending example. Both have the same assets, same controls, and the controls work the same. Uh, the one on the left is our starting example is starting in a playing state and the one on the right is starting in a stop state. The controls work the same. So let's get our starting movie and see how we make the changes. And we'll open up the start file and I'll quickly save it and give it a name. I'll call it practice. Although we just did a similar example like this, you may have been away from it, so let's review the assets and what we have in this movie. We'll start with the library and take a real quick look. There is a movie clip that contains a simple shape for a red rectangle. We also have another movie clip that has an animated version of that. We'll open that briefly. And we can see it's a 120 frame motion tween to make a rotation effect. We have the play button from the common libraries and the stop button from the common libraries. This comprises our library. Let's go take a quick look at scene one. And on scene one, we can see we have uh, three layers. The bottom layer has got the rotation movie clip. It's locked right now. Let me unlock it, select it. You can see the properties. And it's the red rectangle rotation. I'll hit the swap button here quickly. Rotating clockwise movie clip. We'll relock that layer on the controls layer, unlock it, the, uh, there's a play button. And the properties, it's uh, got an instance name play button, which is used in the action scripting. And the stop button has a name stop, which is also used in the action scripting. We'll lock that. We already have some action script in here. Uh, we'll select the action script layer and right click on the first keyframe and we can see the action script from the previous example and controlling our start and stop buttons now all we need to do is, is to take this rotating uh, movie clip stop action and just to review a bit if we come back to scene one and unlock this last layer and select this one more time just note that that is the instance name of that movie clip on this timeline We'll come back to the actions for frame one. And so uh, we're asking it to stop when the stop button's clicked. We also want the same action to occur when this frame starts, which is the first frame. So we'll just paste it up here on the first line. We'll test the movie. And we can see now the movie is in a stop state. And then the buttons work from there. So just save that. Now once you get a little more comfortable with ActionScript, you'll notice some patterns. And one of the things you might want to notice is that the movie clip's instance name or instance names for objects on stage are followed by a period. And then after that comes the what we're calling an action right now. We'll learn later on that these are actually called methods or properties depending on how they're written. And so uh, we can see up here that the instance name and then the period and then the action which is stopped. Okay, that was a pretty simple example. All we had to do was copy some code, put it in a new place. A lot of times all there is to it is trying to figure out where the actual action should go, either inside of a function within ActionScript or alone on a frame as we did in this case.